All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Akakodash. And as always, the water, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh for giving us the spirit of truth. In these last days, which the world cannot receive, as always, the bondage to our apostles, there was a great millstone where we learn this truth from, Bakatham. Peace, love, and salutations to the Zakwani Wa Akim, those in the brothers standing stiffly for the names of Yahweh, for Yahweh Shai, truth, and in sincerity, Shalom to the predestined elect. All right, we the brothers from Jim, S. Tembe, Twitter, Camp, Iron, Temple, Florida, and all the Babylon, the Belly of the Beast. <coughs> And we're pretty much coming back to another almost home. All right, Lords, we'll be uh, able to title this, um, Thy People Shall Be Willing, man. All right, um, pretty much, you know, me and a brother was just, you know, meditating, you know, just uh, breaking bread, fellowshipping, and they, through the Spirit of Power, Yahweh, Shemir, I was shy. That's why the scriptures say two are better than one, you know, because the Spirit just dialed in, all right, and um, he was just uh, thinking about why <clears throat> Jake is going to have to acknowledge, okay, the power of Yahweh, Shemir, I was shy, that he's getting ready to translate over to the elect, man. To the man that's standing out there uh, stiffly, all right, in sincerity, all right, in honesty, all right, in holding their integrity, all right, in enduring all right, afflictions, okay, so that they nation, all right, can get that respect, man, starting off with the elect, so that Yahweh Shem Shai, all right, can get his respect, man, okay, and the Lord is going to what? Uh, humility before honor. The Lord is going to, uh, oh, get that real quick, um, in due time, I think it's James, humble thyself before the Lord, James, you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Yeah, get that real quick, Bible Shai, all right, because that's, that's what's going on, the program of Yahweh Shem Shai, man. Okay, is a, a translation of power, man. The, and the Lord is, ex, is is exalting the humble. And that's starting off with our, our, our chief cornerstone, okay? In this building of the house of David, okay? The the, uh, the chief cornerstone is Yahweh Shai Mashiach, man. Okay? All right? And us bowing down to, to that, because uh, uh, you could say every knee shall bow. So us bowing down to the order, all right, of Yahweh Shai Mashiach is going to ultimately, okay, uh, 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 put us in a position to be uh, uh, honored, man. Lord willing. You got it, Rocky. Comes uh, James chapter 4 in verse 10 mm -hmm. says, Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Mm -hmm. That's what's going on, man. As we're, we're uh, being humbled, the Lord is putting us in a position, okay, to be humbled. The Lord is getting ready to lift us up, man. And we're going to be those leaders, man. Okay, to what a point where the nation of Israel, you so called Negro, Latin, ethnic, Indian, you're going to have to uh, 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 come, all right, okay, and just acknowledge the fact that the Lord is dealing with us, man. Okay, all right. That this book is just not no fairy tale, man. That the things that are actually taking place out in the scripture, uh, uh, in the world, is linked up in the scriptures, man. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Yeah, because it says in Psalm second chapter, you know, they that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts mm -hmm. and humble their souls in His sight. You know, so the Lord sees everything. He says, "Eyes are ten thousand times brighter than the sun." You know, beholding all the secret parts of men. You know, even the things you hold hold dear and tight to yourselves, the Lord knows. You know, so coming into time we're coming into, what are you gonna do when the Lord returns? And no one's really taking that into consideration. Because mm -hmm. going to the spirit is lesson, you know, people, you know, there's a universal understanding of power. You know, think about a woman, she might not know nothing, know nothing about cars, but she see a nice car, a Ferrari, you know, or a Lambo, she knows that's that's power. Mm -hmm. She hears the sound of it, she sees the look of it, right? And uh, going to what we live in the Tampa Bay area, it's a storm coming. People respect power, mm -hmm. but they don't they don't understand the true sense of the power of the Lord is right. coming in. Right. You know, when right. he returns, it says every every eye shall see him. You know, so they're not be, they're not preparing their hearts for the return of the Lord. You know, we're preparing before the Lord comes. That's how that's how crazy his power is. Yeah. Before the Lord came, we were in fear, and we're still we're still in fear because the fear is beginning of wisdom. You know, yeah. but again, people are gonna have to learn. You know, the, the fear of the Lord after death by pain. You know, but uh, uh Obadiah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <clears throat> this is uh, Obadiah. Uh, of course, only one book. Yeah. Um, you want to speak on it? Go ahead, too, bro. Con, I go. started a good spot. Con, con, con. This is uh, Obadiah. Um, Start at verse 17. Mm -hmm. Obadiah, verse 17, it says, But upon Mount Zion shall mm -hmm. be deliverance, mm -hmm. and there shall be, and there shall be holiness. Mm -hmm. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. So that's going into what? Uh, the fame coming. Mm -hmm. You know, because you know, you think about the salvation that's coming, it says uh, the enemy shall be held, be held them, you know. So they're gonna see this salvation. This salvation is gonna be uh, televised, you know. You think you got viral videos and viral moments. Right, this this deliverance has come, and that's this can be the most viral moment ever in history. You know, scripture talk about this deliverance. The deliverance yeah. is coming. You know, and, and that's the honor, bro, that we're we're going into, man. I'm getting, bro, we're going through all these <clears throat> stages, right, of afflictions, uh, stages of be, get, being humiliated for the word of Yahweh Bashmi Shai for the ultimate glory, for the ultimate honor, man. And that's going to be saved, man. Okay, by the strangest of our salvation, but what is going to be far so beyond what you people can actually imagine, man. 
Because what the, 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 the you're gonna actually understand why we've dedicated our lives to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man, through the Spirit. Because that glory that we're gonna receive being saved when you're gonna be destroyed, then you're gonna understand, like, man, damn, boy. Mm -hmm. You know, that, 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 damn, boy, I see why they, these men are honored. And you're gonna be thinking all that while you're on the fire, like, shit. You know, my dad, my cousin, my uncle, my co worker, my supervisor. This man was somebody, my whole time, my whole time living this man was special. You know? Okay, so you're going to understand that, man. Real soon, you're going to be willing, and the elect, one third is going to be willing in that time, man, to willingly believe and trust in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. That, that, that's, the, that's the way. What they, they possess, what they know, they understand, that's the truth, man. The most high in the heavens is dealing with them. All right? I'll just get it for you. Come on. Psalm 110, a psalm, the book of Psalms, 110, chapter, third verse, it says, Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power mm -hmm. in the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning thou hast to do of thy youth yes, sir so the people our people mm -hmm. thy people which is who you so-called negroes latin american indian men women and children you're going to be willing in that time because you're not going to have electricity man you're not going to have a cell phone you're not going to have an iphone man okay you're not going to have access to uh, the things that uh, you possess all right on this side right now man as far as technology as far as food far as transportation you're not going to have you're not going to be able to possess these things man and if you do not have the spirit okay if y'all watch me shot on you you're going to get taken out man but majority of our people all right are going to die but the one third is going to see this you're going to recognize the spirit okay the lord is going to put the spirit on you to see that man yeah. you know yeah because you got you really have you get that amount mm -hmm. you're willing God. you know one of the definitions says the act of making a choice mm -hmm. you know Ooh, so you're gonna have this. to the, the the elect they're, they're gonna submit themselves under the power of Yahweh Bashim Shai willingly mm -hmm. you know because they know that they're gonna see what's hap what's gonna happen if you disobey if you disrespect the Lord you know if you uh you know being a demon God. out here the, the recompense for that is destruction because mm -hmm. you know? it's gonna be a lot of death and one thing about Jake Jake see somebody drop dead all that fake shit go out the window bro immediately Imme yeah immediately man you know, you are, oh shit, isn't it? What? And then you just gonna see us cool as, just like this. Boy, call all y'all about some y'all shine. This, the Lord is gonna put this, if you one of those men, uh, men, women, and children of the of the elect, you're gonna bow down, you're gonna submit yourself to that power that y'all about some shine has given us, man. Okay, and it's gonna be by the way of miracles, by the way of doing certain things because it's gonna go, it's gonna say a realm against another realm, man. So shit is gonna get real technical out here, man. Okay, where the Lord is going to start tightening down his spirit. You see, because you people have, or you people respect power. Well, guess what? The scriptures say the power of the earth is in the hands of the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, and he's getting ready to give that power to certain men out here, man. You see? And that's what we go so hard for the Lord for, man. You see? You got it up. Yeah, I got something for you. This mm -hmm. is uh, Psalm 22. I'll start at verse 27. Mm -hmm. Psalm 22, starting at verse 27. It says, All the ends of the world shall remember and turn unto Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. All the all the ends of the world shall remember, re being back, mem uh, member going back to what memory? Mm -hmm. So to, to 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 the Lord is gonna put that thought in your mind that I'll show you. terrible demon like power, man. That's right, brother. He's <laughs> the Lord is getting ready to bring that that same power. That, oh yeah, man, get out of there, forty five. Yeah, come. Uh, uh, verily, uh, power that. How did that show? Come, come, Baba Gashah, because that that's a beautiful scripture, brother. Because the Lord is getting ready to bring back that same energy, man. To let you people know that he is, he is, he exists. He don't, he ain't go nowhere. He just hiding himself, man. See, the heavenly Father is the is the um, is the omnipotent power, man. He don't have to come down here and speak to you people out here, man. Lord don't gotta tell you he gonna kill you before he drop he issue issue out that death. Lord can he programs you to have a blast your birthday, man. Turn it up on your birthday, man. Just to get in a car accident. Now you blowing up on the news and we like, damn boy, call all y'all bossing me outside. One me, you know. The Lord is a, is a, is a is a terrible power, bro. He's terrible, man. Go ahead, up. Uh, Isaiah forty five verse fifteen. Mm -hmm. It says, "Verily, thou art a power that hidest thyself." Yeah, verily, being truly, man, of a surety, man, of a surety, the Most High is hidden Himself to the point where you don't even believe the Lord is dealing with us. To the point where you don't even actually have the fear that He exists, that He actually controlling you, man. You're nothing but a pawn that can easily get flipped off this chessboard of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. Go ahead. Yep. Isaiah 45, verse 15, it mm -hmm. says, Verily that, verily that art a power that hideth mm -hmm. thyself, O power of Israel. O power of Israel. The, the Savior. The Savior, man. 
Obadiah. Yep. Got it. Uh, go get that Obadiah. Mm -hmm. um, so. No, you good, bro, because you people are getting ready to understand what power is, man. Superpower is, man, from the heavens. The Lord is getting ready to di divinely intervene into this realm of yours, man. And, and tell you people, all right, bottle after death by pain that he is, he exists. And the whole time that you've been being a nigga and a demon, all right, now that your time, your time, your card is get pulled, don't cry now, because he already had us out there on the corners, man. This is his program, you see? And the ones that's going to hearken is going to be willingly, all right, they're going to willingly submit themselves to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai through his men, all right? Go ahead, Ark. Yep, uh, Obadiah, uh, verse 17, it says, but, but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. So let's talk about you Israelites, you mm -hmm. so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That has, to be, that has to be understood that the Lord's not coming to save everybody. You know, he's coming to save ultimately his elect because even, you know, the majority of our people, they're not going to receive deliverance on this time because we just say, not all Israel is Israel. Because, you know, again, the best of our people, they're not going to submit themselves unto the will of the Abba Shai, therefore they have to uh, bow down to the slaughter. Right? So it's verse 18, it says, The house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. Right? So the northern and southern kingdom are coming together and being one. Right? It says, In the house of Esau for stubble. Mm. Right, so Esau is getting ready to be done away with. So this man that you look up to and want to follow after his his society yeah. and, and let me try to make it and be somebody in this world, well, he's gonna be through. So what are you gonna do? Bound so down you to the beast. Exactly, you bound down to the image and you throwing your child, the children in the fire, mm -hmm. making your children sell out, mm -hmm. prepping them to sell out to Esau, mm -hmm. making them all you know like damn faggots mm -hmm. and stuff. You know, because ultimately you want to make a check off them. You see your son out there playing football and basketball. You think about yourself. You know. He, you know, he, he gets blonde hair and shit like that. You know, you, you don't got no problem with that. You know, but the Lord got a problem with that. You know, and he's, he's sick and tired of this stuff that's going on down here. Because Jake has not seen no ju no no judgment, bro. <clears throat> that's why the scripture say I have long time holding my peace. Jake has not seen a serious judgment from the Heavenly Father. So they think it's a good thing to actually be a wicked, wicked demon, man. A demon, bro. You know what I mean? That's why the whole nation is just willingly giving themselves over to the left-hand side. But ultimately, the Lord has reserved you niggas. For that destruction, because you're the same people that destroyed, killed the prophets, same people that gave up Yahweh Shai. But for the elect, those that believe, that you're getting ready to see the, the, the beauty of us actually staying humble in this thing, man. The Lord is getting ready to reward us, man, for living this this holy covenant. It's gonna say, what manner of person ought you to be, man? So for us actually applying that scripture and living a holy conversation in godliness, the Lord is gonna reward you with salvation, man. So just all we gotta do is just maintain and keep the faith, man, because the Lord is getting ready to give extreme power, man. To those that are responsible, he feels responsible for it, man. Or he feels that are suitable for that responsibility, if you will, man. And that's the elect. You got it, Rocky. Come. This is uh, Obadiah verse 18. It says, In the house of Jacob shall be a fire, mm -hmm. in the house of Joseph a flame. Right, because that judgment, the Lord going to give us that power to execute that judgment. The scriptures say what? He going to make us a, a, as a, 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 what's that in Micah? It says, uh, Thou shalt be, uh, thou shalt tread him into pieces. I shall, uh, how I go, man, man, let me get it real quick. I'm going to butcher it. Tread them in pieces, devouring. Let me get that real quick. Go to, cause you people are you people are bugged out. Go ahead, you read that again. Done. So Obadiah, uh, verse eighteen, it says, "In the house of Jacob shall be a flame, mm -hmm. and the, in the house of Joseph, it's like the whole, the the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of J Joseph a flame, mm -hmm. and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them, and devour them, and there shall be not." And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shah has spoken. Mm -hmm. Right? Because again, you know, that's ultimately what's getting ready to happen. Because again, people respect power. They see the men of the Lord out in the and Bowers, they count us, what they call us weak and wasting our lives away. Right? But they don't understand the power that we have is from on high. You know, they don't, they can't comprehend that power. That's why you just say, well, Yahweh said himself, blessed are ye that have uh, believed and have not seen. Right, yeah. because we see the power of Yahweh Bashan without physically seeing, mm -hmm. you know, that shows the, the faith we have, you know, which is a superpower. Yeah, and that's a blessing. I was going to say, blessed are those that have eyes that have not seen me and believe. You know, Yahweh Shai said that thousands of years ago, man. So this 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 spiritual gem that we've been in of working working our spiritual muscle, you're actually getting ready to see the full, you physically getting ready to see the strength by the Lord giving us the power, man. Okay, that's why Apostle Paul said about to be exercised profit little. It's a good thing, but at the end of the day, the real profit is working out them spiritual muscles, man, in that gym, man. You see? And that and the elect is the only ones in this gym. We the only ones that can come into this 
Righteous of Fitness, man. Not LA Fitness, man. 144 Fitness, man. And we the only ones that can communicate. This is a 144 club. You know, we help each other. We, we build with each other. We work on each other's uh, strength. Excuse me, what? Well, uh, 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 um, prof, uh, what is it? How I go? Uh, Proverbs 27, I believe. Iron sharp. Iron. iron sharp and iron. So we're constantly sharpening each other up. Hey, brother, you're working too much on the legs. You know what I mean? You're working too much on this. Hey, check this out. I got something for you. And he's going to walk you through it, man. Through the spirit part y'all busting me up shot. Because we're a body, man. But see, that physical, all this muscle that we're putting into this work, you're actually getting ready to physically see that when the Lord gives those men that power, man. And the 144, uh, the, uh, the elect is going to be willing, all right, to see, the, to see the power of the 144, man. That's why we're the government, man. Which, if I could get this real quick. This is uh, Micah chapter 4. I'm sorry, Micah chapter 5, and right to the point, verse 8. And the remnant... All right, being the elect of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people. As a lion among the beasts of the forest, as a young lion among the flocks of sheep. It says, who if he go through, both treadeth down and teareth in pieces, and none can deliver, man. All right, so once the Lord give us that, going back to that Obadiah, all right, being a flame and a fire and east off a stubble. Once the Lord gives us that power, nobody's going to be delivered out of our hands, man. That's why in the ancient world, when we went to war, what? The, our, our forefathers used to pray or go to the Urim and the Thum, all right, and actually, how about some Is they're going to be delivered into our hands? And the Lord will say, yeah, they'll be delivered into our hands. Well, that time, that time is coming back around, man. There is nothing new under the sun. The Lord is getting ready to tell through the spirit of power, y'all about some outside, certain men, look, they're delivered in your hands, man. And we're going to tread you people down, man, through the spirit of power y'all boss me out Revelation is the second chapter, man. He that overcometh, but I give him a, a, a rod of iron, and they shall be broken to shivers, even as I receive them, my father, man. So we're going to do just what Yahweh Shai is going to do. When every knee is going to bow to him, all you nations are going to have to bow down to us. Because what? You are a possession, man. You don't, but we don't belong to you. You belong to us. We just was here for our punishment, man. But once that recognition come by, by Yahweh Bashmi al Shai, giving those men that power, starting off with Yahweh Shai, Michael the Archangel, and the rest of the angels, and the 144 ground troops, you're going to be, then you're going to know, oh shit, yeah, this is bigger than me. This is bigger than my 401k. This is bigger than me selling out. That was a world war going on, man. And these people were standing up for me. They were standing up for my whole nation. They were standing up for me. That's what we're here for, man. To be leaders. All right? And you're going to, the, the elect is going to be willing. In that day, man. Go ahead, up. Yeah, because that's why what well, it says in the book of Acts, what the first chapter, eight verses, but you shall receive power mm. once the Holy Spirit has come upon you. You know, and the Holy Spirit has come upon us, but the Lord's also going to turn up that dial. Mm -hmm. You know, the Lord's going to turn up the dial upon his left because why? Because that right hand is getting, re getting ready to be exalted. Mm -hmm. that's right. You know, the right hand of Yahweh Bashan is getting ready to be exalted. That's going to start with his son being returned here upon the planet Earth. You know, and that's what we're greatly anticipating. You know, because right now we're being crucified and this counted as weakness. Just like when Yahweh Shai went across, they counted as weakness. But what? He's made, he lives through the power of Yahweh Bashmi and Shai. He lives through the power of, of the Heavenly Father Yahweh. Right? And going to the order of things, you know, the Lord's going to give power unto his men. Mm -hmm. And that's ultimately what we're, we're, we're humbly waiting for because we know that power has to come. Mm -hmm. Because you think these people, these people think this thing is just about words, you know? This, the, the, the kingdom's not going to come by words, it's going to come by power. When this kingdom's taken down and, 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 and everything's set in order, it's going to be by power, the Lord's might. Okay? You know, and he's going to do that uh, through his men, mm -hmm. you know? And we Lord will we hope he part of that you know I got something for you okay. Matthew 24 verse 30 and then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn and like you said going into it it, it it doesn't come with observation right it says and then shall they see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory man so backing the brother up that's why in the scriptures it says one of a white horse, okay, which was Yahweh Shai, which the horse represents power, white being pure, okay, pure power, man, okay, once the Lord Yahweh Shai cracked that sky with the angels, okay, that's it, bro, we're not going to be doing no lessons in that time, like, oh yeah, you don't want to know what that, no, the Lord going to be out here, the scripture said that slain in the Lord shall be many, man, if you do not know in that time, you done, bro. And that's what we're telling you people, bro. This is a real war. You think we just out here on the corners every Saturday for a joke? You think we doing lessons to be seen? This is real life, man. The Heavenly Father is not playing, bro. He getting ready to destroy this place, man. And if you're not with his program, you're a part of being destroyed, man. Go ahead, Art. 
Yeah, because again, going into what the house of uh, Jacob shall be a fire and the house mm -hmm. of Joseph a flame, because like it says in the flipping second chapter, uh, what it says, um, for is the most high that work within you both to do, uh, both both to will and to do is a good pleasure. Oh, that's the spirit. I was going to get that. I got you. Yeah. I, bro, I was going to get that, bro. That's the spirit. Okay. Just brought it back. The Lord wanted to come out. I got you. Uh, Philippians. You speak on the today. Uh, Philippians chapter 2 and verse 13. Philippians 2 and 13. Let's see, let's start up a little bit. Yeah, I'll I write to the point. Philippians 2 and 13. For it is the most high which worketh in you yeah. both to will and and to do of his good pleasure. Yep, again, because we quoted Acts, the first chapter, it says, but you shall receive power after the Holy Spirit has come upon, come upon you. You know, so again, the Lord's going to turn up the dial upon his men because what? Respect has to be paid. Right. You know, and respect is going to have to be paid ultimately by a lot of bloodshed. Right. You know, right. and ultimately what? The Lord said, vengeance is mine, wait ye upon me. But there's going to be a time and place where the Lord's going to set up his men to, you know, pretty much to get their licks out too. You know, and that's what the Lord could be, be a part of. You know, it says, uh, Jeremiah says, you are my battle axe weapons of war. Mm -hmm. You know, you just walk to me right now with sheep. You know, the Lord comes coming back as a lion. Right? So the Lord's coming back as a lion. What? You, what? You just read, you, you got Book of Micah, you know, about those young lions. The Lord's going to raise up his men. You know? You got you get something? Yeah, okay. I got something for you. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 17, it says, He shall take to him, to him his jealousy for a complete armor and make the creature his weapon. Yeah. For the revenge of his enemies. Yep, because today, there's even, uh, well, I, I know Ash did a, a lesson earlier, too. well, he didn't do a lesson, he posted a video about, you know, you got wild beasts out here, you know, so the Lord's going to use everything. You got Leviathan, okay, you got Behemoth, you know, and really you got his men, you know, and that's the Lord's also going to use, uh, use as his men against you devils, okay, you know, all those that fought against Jerusalem, okay, because right now, again, quoted not all Israel's Israel, you know, but again, the Lord, when he says, no one by his judgments that he, he Plays out here upon the planet Earth, and that's what's going to have to take his judgment. Because again, with Apostle Gabar always quotes, it's, "When words can't teach, adversity will." It's you know? going to take for us to be from the fishers to a hunter, man. That's what the prophet Jeremiah seen. That actually is going to happen, man. Like the elders we're going into, all right, at camp, all right. This thing is ultimately about prophecies, man. Okay, and that's some prophecy. That's not done yet, man. So what Jeremiah seen of us being changed from a fisher to a hunter. Once that actually has taken place, somebody has to fulfill his will, man. Okay? And he's going to use us to beat up those weapons, man. All right? Lord's willing to be those men. Our faith is up there, bro. We just believe that we, we those men. And once that time happened, you, you, you people done, man. Because the Lord is going to take over, man. Okay? And we're going to fulfill his will. We just read it. You either with him or you're against him, man. Okay? You either wit, niggas gotta get judged, put down, weak, smoking, okay, uh, 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 abominable, uh, adultery, all right, okay, a uh, 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 nation, uh, 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 what is, uh, seriously, what, be, be, uh, be as a, you shine as a light in a, uh, a crooked and perverse generation, man, all right, this crooked and perverse generation has to get put down, bro, so the Lord is gonna use us to do that, man, and if you're not with him, you're against him, man. And, and the one third is going to be willing. They don't have to make a decision. And they, yeah, that's it. That's the power that we need. We need to respect this, man. Today, not playing. This, this is not an ass whooping, bro. They putting, they putting shit to death, man. Through the spirit of power, y'all boss me outside. Call all y'all boss me outside for that, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, up. Because okay, uh, you niggas need rulership, man. Yeah. You know, so lock it, bro. You niggas need rulership, man. You need somebody over you, bro. Because you was out of control. This little Nas X, Elder Pastor Hart said he hate that nigga, man. He said that he not finna die of no heart attack. Man, that nigga got a heavy judgment, bro. Because he fulfilling that. He fulfilling the left hand, man. But somebody got to take him out. And who, 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 who the Lord going to use to do that? That's why he got the missiles coming. Just really just get this shit over. With. That's mm -hmm. why in one hour this place going to be swept mm -hmm. away. But I'll close out here. We can close out here. Mm -hmm. Psalm 22. We can finish up. Well, we uh, read Psalm 22. 22 verse 27 says all the ends of the earth shall remember and turn unto Yah Bashim Shai and all the kindreds of the nations shall worship before thee so we know this is getting ready to happen it's a process okay those that are not going to be willing at that time they're going to be done away with right but that's why it's just say when the wicked bear food of people uh, mourn but when the righteous bear food of people rejoice every knee shall bow okay everybody's going to be bowing unto Yah Bashim Shai okay it says uh, verse 28 Psalm 22 verse 28 says for the kingdom is Yah Bashim Shai's and he's the governor among the nations, and governor means the authority, you know? So the Lord is coming to set order. That's what ultimately was coming, you know, because you people, 
you serving here in, the, in this left hand side kingdom, okay, it says the old hand on hand, you know, uh, the wicked shall, shall not be unpunished, right? But it says in uh, what Judges, Judges, the fifth chapter, it says, uh, praise, you, but praise you the Lord for avenging, for the avenging of Israel, right? Mm -hmm. Then well, when the people willingly offered themselves going into the elect, you know, making our body live and sacrifice, making ourselves look like uh, fools for Yahweh's and Shai's sake. You know? Willingly offering ourselves to do the will, so that way when when he come through on our on our behalf as being what confirming our faith, then you actually see the the benefit of us doing what we doing, man. Because mm -hmm. that's how the Lord work. He put man in position to have faith in Him, so that you nation, uh, uh, the you nations, twelve tribes of Israel can come back into your understanding. Okay, by us actually showing you the right way, how to right do rightly do things, man. Having faith, man. Living a, a, a righteous lifestyle to the best of your ability, moving wisely in all thy ways, man. Stand in order, conducting yourself in a holy conversation, so that way when the Lord come back and give us the, give us that, give us that uh, 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 mercy, okay, you can actually partake in that, okay. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much the point. You know, like it says, what well, Acts second chapter says, uh, and they that uh and they that gladly received his word were baptized you know mm -hmm. and that baptism is ultimately that fire we're going to be mm -hmm. purified that's why our worth is going through this roof and this work the, roof, the work for this world is going down to the ground you know and it's going to be finale when this place gets destroyed through thermal missiles who's going to be standing he's elect on the abash and shy those will be part of that number you got it. you know so uh, pretty much that's it those words be edifying as always when you give all praises to yahweh Double honesty, Elves and Paul, Sabrina, Millstone, Peace and Blessed to the Elect of Israel. Shalom. Shalom.